Charge is the property of matter that causes it to experience a force when placed in an electric field. It has the symbol Q and it is measured in coulombs, which can be abbreviated to a C. We would often say that charge is quantized, meaning that it comes in discrete units or that there is a minimum amount of charge that is possible and that is called the fundamental charge, which has a value of 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 coulombs. This is also the charge that would be found on electrons and protons. So they have the fundamental charge. Obviously an electron has a negative fundamental charge and a proton has a positive fundamental charge. Now due to the size of the fundamental charge, the coulomb is a very, very big unit. So we would often refer to charge in either of these prefixes, milli, micro or nano. So when we are referring to a number, for example, 7 microcoulombs, that basically just means that it can be rewritten as 7 times 10 to the power of minus 6 coulombs. And the reason for that is because a coulomb of charge is such a big quantity, we often have to use these prefixes when talking about charges in everyday life. Now it is possible for us to determine the number of fundamental charges that make up an amount of charge. So if we have an object that say has a charge of 3 coulombs, we can be asked to determine how many fundamental charges that contains and we would say that the number of fundamental charges is equal to the total charge divided by the fundamental charge. Total charge here is given as 3 coulombs. Fundamental charge we know is always 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19. And what that tells us is that in a 3 coulomb charge, there are 1.875 times 10 to the power of 19 fundamental charges, or in this case, because it's positively charged, protons present. As we can see, this is a very big number, so we are often going to use scientific notation when dealing with these charges. And then finally, it's important to note that since charge can only come in the form of protons, and electrons, when there is an excess of one or the other, when there is an excess of electrons, an excess of negative charge, we say the object is negatively charged. When there is an excess of protons, we say the object is positively charged. However, protons, since they are inside the nucleus of the atom, they are never able to move. So whenever we talk about the transfer of charge, we are always going to be talking about electrons that are able to move and the electrons would obviously always move from the more negative charge to the less negative charge because they are attracted to the positive charges in another object.